Hello everyone and welcome. Welcome back to Meadow and we are not in the meadow right now. We are deep inside of a mountain going deeper and deeper into a cave system. I have no idea where it's going to lead. I don't know where it's going to take us, but far in front of us are three adult lynxes that we are wandering with. And behind us, stopping every time I stopped and making sure that we managed to keep going with the group, what is a goat and I actually, or a deer, it's kind of hard to tell. <gasps> Mushrooms! Oh, I would stop to look, but every time I've stopped to look at the crystals, this amazing goat person has continued to stay with me. <gasps> Wow. You guys, this is so pretty. It's it's amazing. Okay, over here? I think over here is where we're supposed to go. Alright, I see you guys. I'm back with the, the, the parent lynxes. Okay, good. Where do I need to go? I'm just a tiny baby. You guys, this is amazing. I didn't know there were caves. I was just going to spend all of my free time wandering around. So where do we go now? Where's the runestone? Is it in front of here? Or are we just in a really cool spot? Right here? I don't see it. Oh no, what happens if I don't see it? Oh, the lynx just laid down on the fire. Oh, we're taking a nap? Okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness, so we're resting. We're resting after that. I wonder if my Lynx family has actually led me astray. Are we going anywhere? Yeah, that's what I want to know, goat. This is so interesting, trying to figure out the dynamic of how to interact with everyone. Oh, there's a little rain cloud! <gasps> the frog has a little rain cloud! That's so cool! This is so neat! Okay, I don't know if we're gonna get very far following the group mentality like this and just wandering in circles. So I'm gonna be the curious link cub and start poking around and seeing if I can find anything. I think we've joined a jumping lynx cult and I'm just gonna jump over here. Wow, bubbly pond! Wow, the voices, they echo. They echo in the darkness, or they echo in the cavern. <gasps> Look at the little frog! Jeez, that's adorable. I can't wait to unlock a little frog. All right, well, I'm going to continue looking around at all these mushrooms, because I'm curious about what's over here. I don't see any rune stones. Talk about an amazing mountain, though. There's chunks of crystal on the ground. Oh, my goodness. Wow, look at this. This is so cool. Oh, and the little lynx cub's voice echoes through the entire cavern. This is amazing. And then we can just jump back over here, hang out with everybody. How many people are here? Seven, eight, eight people. That's enough to open up some rune stones. Here, maybe we can ask, um, runes, like, question mark? Runestone, and then I'm being the fussy little baby question mark. Does anybody know? Or are we just this way? All right, we're following the goat again. <laughs> Hopefully he knows where it is. He says out of the mountain. Okay, so that's so fun. I gotcha. Oh my gosh. It's very interesting to just resort to a few little details to communicate with everyone, too. Wow. Yeah, out of the mountain, they say. And then we can find more rune stones. And I do want to look for more rare flowers. That is going to be our goal. Trying to find ten rare flowers, or even one fabled flower. That's my big goal, and that's not something we need to run around with everybody for. But it is really fun to run around and just discover what we can. I mean, look at this. This is so pretty. All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. Why am I the slowest lynx cub? Is it because I'm everything? I'm so interested in what we see. Wow. This is so pretty. Wait, are we near one? Where is it? I hear something. I hear something. It's like a humming, almost. Oh, this cave. This is a cave I could come 
and just let my imagination unfurl in. Do you guys ever do that? When I was a lot younger and I would work so hard on writing my stories and I would work on writing my little role-playing post, I would go into a video game now and then and find a beautiful place that I could feel really immersed in and just leave my character sitting there while I would write so that I could look up and feel like I was part of that big, beautiful, imaginary world that I seemed to just have an edge of creativity that was so much richer than what was around me at the time. And now I know to create a world that is like that, that inspires like that, is the result of a rich life. But I like it takes it takes a while. It takes some talent and it takes some time before you can turn that level of fantasy awesomeness into the life that you want to lead. So let's see. And then do we know where we're going? Okay, off we go. <laughs> we'll follow this group for a little while. But do that, you guys. So those awesome crystals. It's more than just the crystals that make everything so amazing to see. And if you can kind of discover what that feeling is you're feeling, what that feeling is that you really want and that you really are excited about is, and then you chase that down, then it is possible to... Find a way, something else that resonates the same way that that beautiful scene did and bring that into your life. <gasps> Look, there's a piece of something something over here and it's so shiny. They saw it too, I think. Oh my gosh. I can't really get to it very easily though. Oh goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the, the other saw it too. I can't get up. I can't get up. I'm just a little baby. I'm just a little baby. I'm too weak. Too weak. Oh, wait. I made it. I made it. I made it. Yes! Alright. Did I get it? I think I got it. I hope I got it. Did I get it? Uh, no. Yes, look! We're unlocking more pieces of a new skin. That's so awesome. So you can just find them kind of lying around. Alright, time to go that way. So we'll continue following this group, my Lynx family, for a little while. Oh, it looks like a flower's over there! Maybe it's one of the rare flowers. Last time it seemed like one of the rare flowers was a bell flower, and another one of the rare flowers was... Oh, and it looks like the Lynx was waiting for me. That's so cool. Eh, there we go. And another one of the rare flowers was a sunflower. So what kind of flower are we going to find this time? Did they get all of them? Are they gone forever? Is that going to be the new thing? Oh man! All right, that's okay. Yay, caught up. Oh, there's the frog jumping around. I want to sing with the lynx. I love the little tail that the lynx cub does. Because it's so cute. All right, so off we go again. All right, adventuring and wandering. How fascinating. You know, as the, as the researcher in me, the scientist who really studied a lot of sociology and anthropology. Yes, to a runestone, please. While I was uh, in college, it's very exciting to see how we're trying to communicate with so few symbols. <gasps> Look, I see a runestone. I see a runestone. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Yes. All right. Excitement and very slow swimming. Did you see the leap that badger made? They managed such a better leap than we did. That's so amazing. All right, I'm very excited about the runestone. Let's keep moving. But yeah, as somebody who studied a lot of anthropology and sociology when I was in college, it's really interesting to see how everybody interacts together with just a few symbols. So let's go, 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 go. Finally, another runestone. Ah, I will admit that the very first group we met up with turned out to be, da da. Yay! And everybody's celebrating. That's so much fun. Victory Owl! That was so fun. Alright, and then let's see. Um, What's this? Like a little challenging bark cry? Now what, they say? Uh, What's just for wander around? Um, Yeah, wander around. So go that way. All right, <laughs> and we still haven't found any of the flowers. So this is interesting. It looks like finding the flowers and finding the essence pieces, that'll kind of change up and you'll have to look in new areas. It, it's very, it makes a lot of sense 
if you think of it from the point of view of trying to uh, find different resources, resource management as a wild animal. And that's kind of what the shelter games were about. Uh, once you got into uh, Shelter 2 and Pause, well, Pause was kind of set as well as like a puzzle game. But Shelter 2, you kind of had to look around. You didn't, or Shelter 2, yeah. You, did, you had to look around and you didn't really know where the food was going to be to feed your cubs. And you had to try to find different resources and you had to track it down. You had to do a lot of hunting. I'm beginning to wonder if maybe a life led following a goat. <gasps> yes! I was going to say, isn't quite as... Dun, dun, dun. Did I get it? Did I get it? What do we get? What do we get? Yes, we got something! <gasps> Another piece of a new emote! Oh, and look at that! Do you see how many pieces were towards the frog? You guys, we're going to be able to get a frog. That's going to be so cool. Now, while that would be cool, though, I think what I may try doing for next time is becoming an eagle. Like, seeing if we can unlock the eagle. Because I have the DLC. I just think I need to get the, the book. Like, the new book they came out with. And then, then we'll be able to find more. And if we could be an eagle, can you imagine being like a, a fantastic, miraculous eagle flying around the place and being able to help out? We could be like Mama Eagle or something like that. And we could scout out all of the different spots that have uh, like flowers and all the different spots that have the rune stones. And we could fly down and maybe transform ourselves. Oh my gosh, heights! <gasps> We could transform ourselves into uh, somebody or something that could guide everyone to where they want to go. And we could see if we could help out that way. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's just a tree. I thought it was one of the glowy pieces again. So where are we going? I don't want to... Okay, off we go. Man, the goat is so fascinating. All right, you guys, so this is shelter, and we have spent a couple days now running or shelter. Oh my goodness, it's meadow, you know what I mean. <laughs> we have spent a couple days now running around with a group and having a really grand time doing that. It's not really, unfortunately, we haven't really stumbled on anything in particular that helps me with our big exciting goal, at least in my opinion, especially because, like I said yesterday, the world really is a place where you're your things that make you excited and your goals are authentic and they are beautiful and you deserve to treat them with respect. You don't need to let other people tell you what brings you happiness if you really feel that happiness. You know what I mean? <gasps> the puffball mushroom field! We're back! Oh my gosh, it's hilarious. Look at everybody playing in the puffball mushrooms. Oh, that's so fun. But yeah, you don't ever need to let somebody else tell you, hey, like, I don't think that's fun, so why do you think it's fun? When you're just savoring what it means to enjoy life and experiencing joy. In the end, I think that's the greatest gift you can ever give yourself, is if it's a healthy, kind thing, just encouraging yourself to accept whatever makes you feel full of joy. When did we get a fourth Lynx? <laughs> and encouraging yourself to indulge in it because I have so many people telling me oh that's so like silly that's so dumb that you want to look at so many plants or that you want to just like wander around and explore but you guys whatever it is that lets you create that that emotion of joy that is something very magical and if the result of what you're doing allows you to be healthy and kind to yourself and others, allows you to... Oh, what's this? Did they just find a flower? Yes! All right, we got another flower. So exciting. But if whatever you're doing is something healthy and kind and it doesn't it doesn't take away from others' well-being or their, their sense of independence or autonomy, if what you're doing just makes you happy and it's a harmless good thing, then the resulting joy that you get from that is totally valid and you don't ever have to listen to anyone who tells you that it's dumb or that it isn't something that's worthy because in the end it's the emotions that you create it's the joy that you create that matter all right and it looks like everybody is gathering around just to relax in this flower field <laughs> and setting fires on everything <laughs> And we'll go ahead and part ways here. 
with them and together and just remember what I said because looking back on my life when I was so many of your guys' age, if I had not let go of the things that brought me happiness, reading, role playing, doing art, even if like my art teacher said I wasn't any good, if I hadn't let go of those things and I had just accumulated joy by holding on to gently but firmly what I knew made me happy and it didn't hurt anyone and it just made me a happier, healthier person, not only would my own life have been transformed, but I think just that overflowing abundance of joy in my life could have transformed a lot of other lives too. So just remember that, you guys. And look at everybody. We've got a huge crowd of lynxes now. This is quite amazing. I'm just a baby to this big giant, giant group of adults. And we will run up to this rune stone and we will let that be our last celebration with this group for today. <gasps> There's a flower. They're really getting on it too. And just remember what I said, big or small, whatever it is, it's okay. All right, let's see what we've got here. Are we gonna get a new skin? <gasps> you guys, all right, and we got another new skin. There we go. Now I'm a little Graylings cub. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, this group. I want to be a red frog one day. And I am... Oh, and here's a little twig. Nice. And I am going to try to see how if somehow, somehow, we can become an eagle soon. And we can go flying and searching for rare flowers of all types. <gasps> this has to be a rare flower. It just has to. It's so amazing looking. And we'll have to see if rare flowers have different amounts. Oh my gosh. Different amounts of essence. This is amazing. But yeah, we'll go we'll go searching for rare flowers and we'll go searching to see if we can gather up even more of these absolutely awesome skins and unlock some of the animals next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.